Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Garden A Little, and today is week seven of the garden update. I think I have mentioned this before that I do not own a microphone, so um, my apologies for the wind coming in and out, but I want to stay true to my word and every week give you guys and myself an update of what's happening in my garden. This weekend is July 4th and I'm so excited for it. So I am shooting this garden tour a little early. Today is Friday, but nonetheless, let's do week seven garden update. I hope you can tell that I am in my usual spot and this is my big tomato bed. My tomatoes are looking amazing. They have recovered just like nothing ever happened. Those tomatoes are growing amazing. I am getting some real fruit on them. Um, today is the first day that I found a hornworm on my tomatoes, so that's not that great. But look how beautiful. Even the cat-faced ones are so gorgeous. Amazing. I am growing some potatoes in this grow bag right next to my big tomato bed and I'm just waiting for them to flower. I'm not sure exactly how long I need to wait, but I'm excited about it because I planted about five potatoes in here. So if I get anything more than five, I'll be happy. Then we can move on to my pepper bed. Look at this forest. I mean, come on. These guys are just loaded with peppers. I am waiting for these guys to start turning because I think this is as big as they are supposed to get right over here. I am just so excited and look at these Buena Mulata peppers. They start out green, which threw me off, but they go into their regular Buena Mulata self. So that's amazing. Then I have, um, these are the orange spice jalapenos. They are just starting to flower and I see some baby fruits. So I'm excited to see how these guys turn. Then I got my random tomatoes and my regular jalapenos, I wanna say. They are just, you know, they are still taking their sweet time. Next, let's take a look at my brassica bed. As you guys know, this is where my eggplants are. And look at this monster. He just blew up. And I'm leaving all of these suckers be because I want all the eggplants. Um, these eggplants are doing all right. They are putting off blossoms here. Um, and I'm just excited about this space. Then I harvested most of my broccoli. I left plants be just to produce side shoots but I think I'm gonna be cutting them down here and I was kind of curious what do you guys think would be best to plant some peas like heat loving peas or beans I've never grown either of those so if you have any experience of either one of those let me know because I'm gonna be ripping this out soon probably this next upcoming week um, and I just wanted to plant something before it's too late then we can move on to my cucumber bed. First, let's look at these peppers. I've been harvesting them already. These are my purple jalapenos and they are doing amazing. Look at them. And I believe this is my Buena Mulata peppers and I've harvested some already. Man, they are just putting off so many blossoms and so much fruit. I am so excited. My basil is doing amazing. I wish I could give you guys a smell of this. Before moving on with my garden tour, I just want to thank you guys for being here. This means a lot to me, all the comments, all the views. I don't know, there's just a little part that, you know, kind of uplifts me and keeps me going. And I love sharing this joy and peace of my heart with you guys, especially in this crazy time. I'm just so, so grateful for all of this space and for all of you who's joining me on my journey because this is this is very exciting and I'm and it's so dear to my heart and I'm so excited to bring you guys along on this journey. Let's keep going. My cucumbers are climbing. Look at this. They have climbed about a foot since last week. I've been seeing bees flying in and out here and pollinating, which is an amazing sign. I'm so excited and looks like I might have some cucumbers soon. Um, I planted a few different varieties here, so I'm excited to see what actually will come up here. But look at this jungle. I love it. 
not too long and they will reconnect with cucumelons. Speaking of, look at these cucumelons. They are higher than I am. Look, these are, these cucumelons are climbing. I am so excited, not too long, and they will climb right up there. They are doing amazing. And to think that I'm not, wasn't gonna have enough, ridiculous. They are just a ball of chaos and I absolutely love it. And there's fruit absolutely everywhere. I mean, everywhere. And they are so adorable, look at them. Then moving on, right behind them, look, my first zinnia, it's starting to open. And all of these are getting ready. I am so excited for this. This is gonna be so, so pretty. I can't wait. And then moving on over here, here are my, I think these are my banana peppers. And then my albino bell peppers. Look how they're growing. They're growing up instead of down. Isn't that cool? This, this one's growing up and these are growing up instead of down. Isn't that neat? Not much has changed in my strawberry bed. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and I don't think it's gonna do much this year, but they are propagating like crazy and I'm letting them because few of my plants died and I'm not expecting any fruit this year. So I'm just letting them be, propagate, multiply. Next year, I'm excited for a big harvest. And here is my tomato forest. Look at this. Let's take a look what's going on. Okay, clearly I need to take care of my tomatoes a little bit better. They can use some tidying up. But look at this fruit. They are completely covered in fruit. Look at this. Amazing. Just like non-stop tomatoes. You know, I knew I overplanted. I knew it. I knew it in my heart. But now that I see the amount of tomatoes that is in this bed, I think I really overdid it. They are looking so gorgeous though. Look at that. Amazing. And then moving on to my zucchini and okra bed. Everything is doing fine, although I'm finding that even with trimming the leaves from the zucchini, I sometimes have to hand pollinate to get the actual zucchini. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna drop my at down here because I've harvested zucchinis already and they are were quite big, so I'm really pleased. But for those two zucchinis that I did harvest, I had to hand pollinate and I'm hoping that I don't need to do that over and over throughout the season. Hopefully the bees will find them and they'll get a hang of it. Everything else is doing really well. Like you can see, I've been trimming them. And this is what happens when nothing pollinates your zucchinis. They just kind of rot and die, just like this. And you know, I'm hoping that somebody pollinated this guy, because if not, this will also rot and die. So I've tried to hand pollinate most of them, but if they don't get to be hand pollinated, this is what they look like, unfortunately. So I've been having issues like you see right over there. So I'm hoping that by trimming this whole big space, the bees and the bumblebees and all the pollinators are able to get in here and actually pollinate. Before moving on though, I want to mention something really interesting. These flowers only are open in the morning. So you got to have some early pollinators going around and pollinating or you need to be out and pollinating them by hand. Then moving on to my huckleberry bed. My huckleberries are doing fantastic. And look, they're starting to change colors. They still are pretty firm, so I'm not harvesting, but I'm excited. My bok choy, I've eaten already two of them, made them into a sauce. My zinnia is about to open and more zucchinis are coming. My potatoes are doing well as well. I'm excited to see how much they produce and compare them to my grow bag potatoes right over there. Other than that, my uh, vining plants here are doing quite well. They're vining right out. I'm hoping I'm gonna get some watermelons this year. And this is what I have to deal with. What are you doing? 
If you're eating hornworms, that's okay. But if you're not, please get out. As you can see, I haven't installed any sort of fence around the garden. And at this point, I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know. I was thinking of buying some like rubber snakes or something and laying them all over the garden to spook them off. But I don't know if anything will spook them off at this point. My shady bed here is doing fantastic. Lettuce is just moving and grooving. Nothing can stop it. Carrots are doing fine. Spinach, arugula, more zinnias. Everything is looking so fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching my garden grow and flourish with me. And I'll see you next time on week eight garden update. Bye. Enjoy your 4th of July.